Well, hello there, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Vanished on Hard Mode. Uh, we have had, well, a pretty hard first year. Um, we're in early winter of the year two right now, uh, so hopefully we have enough food and wood to make it through, uh, which it looks like we, we probably should. Um, but people are not healthy, <laughs> but they're happy. So, you know, they've got that going for them, which, you know, that's, that's good. At least they've got their happiness. Um, I should probably get an herbalist set up, but I am kind of lacking on people right now for that. And right now, I mean, health is good, but, you know, being alive is even better. So we're just going to worry about that. Uh, at least in the near future. So we do have Gatherer's Hut going on. Uh, we've got two people working that. We've got one person working the hunting cabin, which is good. We've got about 300 food, not great, but not horrible either. And we've got uh, our forest forester uh, gathering up some wood for us and all that good stuff. Um, Right, and I suppose I should probably sit down, well, after we get this blacksmith taken care of, I'm going to set down another house. I'll actually plot that out right now and pause it right away so that uh, it's not taking up our resources. All right, we're already in late winter, so we survived another winter, no problem. Great, so we just need a buttload more stone and we'll be able to uh, get that blacksmith going hopefully we don't run out of tools because that's that's a really scary situation and actually since our food is going up I'm going to take back one of our gatherers and I'm gonna just focus on that stone and all that stone is gonna go right back here We only need about 25 more stone, 26, something like that. Look at that, we've got our hunter's cabin right next to a bunch of game. Couldn't have planned it any better. So, how are we doing on that? 31 of 55. Use a little bit more stone, guys. Sooner, faster, and lighter. <clears throat> Alright, so while we're waiting for that to complete, let's uh, plot out a few more buildings here. Not actually going to use them, per se, at least right away. Uh, we can have a tailor, which is going to be good for making clothing, and we'll go ahead and pause that right away. I'm just getting this all plotted out so that I can kind of plan and see where all my stuff is going to go. Uh, food production we don't need right now. Town services could probably place a well um, let's go ahead and put it right in the middle of all these houses here. We'll pause that as well. 48 of 55, they're looking good. We'll go ahead and uh, have Builder assigned, just so that when we get all the materials there, he can go ahead and start building. Or she. This game doesn't discriminate. Um, we are going to need a uh, some social services at some point, but I think I should at least plot out where the herbalist is going to go. Mm, let's put them right down there. We'll pause that as well. Alright, 
So, six more stealth. Come on, guys. I know you got it in ya. And I know I have it queued up. <laughs> Alright, so we're up to six adults and three children. That's a pretty good balance. I usually like to keep the children at about 50% of the adult population. Which uh, is generally a good way to do it. I mean, it's worked for me in the past. I don't know... There's probably a more efficient way of doing it, but that's all that I really care to do research into. Alright, we've got our blacksmith shop being built, and I'm going to go ahead and put down a proper storage barn right next to the stockpile. Looks like it's going to have to be on that side. There, and we'll go ahead and pause that as well. It looks like stone might end up being kind of our scarce uh, resource here. At least starting out with. But that's alright. Um, I think I'm going to start this building here. And we'll need a blacksmith right away. And we'll go ahead and we could really use some more adults. But our woodcutter, I mean, he's got, he's on top of his stuff, so he'll be able to run around and kind of uh, use the stone, or gather the stone, rather. And this blacksmith is going to start working on making tools, which is just in time because we're down to one tool. These guys are all doing their thing, so that's good. Looks like we're all doing pretty good. already made his first batch of tools, so that's going to get uh, up there. Going to limit him at 50, which is going to be, you know, that's a fair amount for the early game. That's fine. We have a baby named Trentus. It's adorable. I love all of this stuff. Alright, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, because I don't have a laborer to uh, put the building materials there. That's why. Um, I'm going to draw back on my builder. Just have one general laborer. Should be good for a little bit. Can set up this iron to be harvested out, but I don't think we need it quite yet. Um, really, right now I'm more worried about stone, <clears throat> which it does look like we're, you know, getting a decent amount of stone, so that's fine. Go ahead and unpause that building as well. And really, right now, I just, I need more population. That's the biggest thing that I need. Alright, so we have two children that have become adults, which is awesome. We'll make one of them a builder. Um, we're honestly looking good on food. Um, builder... 
let's go ahead and make one of them a hunter for right now, and we will kind of beef up our uh, leather production. We can go ahead and unpause the tra the tailor as well. And I have a feeling one of those hunters is going to become our tailor. Start making beautiful leather coats. They're simple, but very functional. Um, which, you know, you can't, can't really ask for much more than that, honestly. Okay. So I'm sure our laborers are just slaving away, taking out all the stone. Which is good. That's good, but it's kind of slowing down our building. But, you know, you can't really argue with that. It'll be fine. Guess I could bump up uh, time acceleration since I'm just kind of waiting for stuff to happen right now. I do love the weather effects. I, I love how I don't have them on, but you can actually see the snow when it's snowing and see the rain when it's raining. Um, it doesn't translate the best into actually a video that you want to watch, but when you're playing, it's very immersive, uh, for lack of a better word, I suppose. Uh, but it does kind of block <laughs> seeing what you're doing, and if you're just watching a video of it, it's uh, really not the best. But, uh, but yeah, if you're playing just by yourself, I would definitely recommend having less effects turned on. Uh, it just kind of helps everything out. And this is definitely one of those games that you can get lost in very easily and start becoming attached to the uh, people that you're in charge of. And, you know, you, you start feeling sad when they die. And it's, yeah, definitely one of those, one of those games that you can easily get lost in and easily spend way too much time playing. Okay, so we've got that other house here, which um, Hermaine, the hunter, is there. He's He's got a nice little bachelor pad set up. Um, doesn't look like there's any eligible females, really. Because, you, you know, two, that's way too young. you got to wait until they're at least ten. So... But that's fine. I'm sure one of them will come of age and you know marry him up. <laughs> like a creepy bastard. Um and we've got another bachelor over there. We need some we need some females here. Alright, reserve of logs is getting low. That's not good. And that's probably because we're using them all for firewood. Um, yeah, the bad part about wooden houses is they don't retain heat very well, so you do end up using a lot more firewood throughout the winter, uh, which isn't really a bad thing, but, uh, but yeah, you have to make sure that you have enough logs for it. Um, and I'm kind of producing the bare minimum that's needed to get everybody through the winter right now. But, uh, but yeah, that'll be fine. Alright, so our tailor's got all the supplies that it needs. Uh, we might as well... Well, no, I'm gonna wait until we have another adult to unpause the uh, herbalist. But our blacksmith has all the tools that he can handle. Um, the woodcutter, I mean, he's low on logs, but we should have some more of those coming shortly from the uh, tree guy, woodcutter, what you call it, not woodcutter, uh, forester, wood guy, you know. And we've got our barn, starting to get supplies for that. That's what's taking up all, all of our wood right there. And we're low on stone as well. Do I have any stone jobs queued up? That is the question. Let's go ahead and get that little deposit of stone. 
we'll get all the soil that's hiding down here. Is there any more there? No. Alright, and we are going to take one of the hunters down and turn him into a tailor and have him start building coats for us. <coughs> Alright, so that barn's getting built, which is great. Uh, as soon as that's built, I'm going to take out this uh, the storage co cart, which really isn't doing that much great anyway. Um, harvest a little bit of resources from that, and the main thing is that's going to get it out of the way. Um, I might extend a row this way. Come on. Let it go as far as it can there. And do something like that. A little bit of wasted space there, but that's fine. And then this will be basically like our town square, I guess you call it. Alright, beautiful. So we have all the firewood we can produce, we have all the tools that we can produce. I'm actually going to bump up firewood just a little bit. Um, just so that we don't have that same problem that we ran into last time. I'm going to unpause this well, since I should have some stone coming in fairly shortly. Let's go ahead and harvest this stone out here as well. Alright, and I'm going to... structures that we know. We'll remove that structure. So they should take everything that's stored in there, move it over to the storage barn or the stockpile or whatever it needs to go, and then uh, dismantle it. And take, I mean, you can get, uh, oh no, all of a sudden the builder fell off a ladder and died. That's just what I need. And Robbie has replaced him. Good old Robbie. Where is she living now? Right there. She's got two kids. Married to Matea. Or Bathia. Whatever. Oh, she's actually our blacksmith. So I must be in... in I don't know. I must have switched jobs right after that. Okay, so that's out of the way which is good. Um, looks like Taylor's actually out of the leather, but that's fine. Uh, we've got 21 coats. That's better than no coats, by far. Um, I just need more adults, honestly. Uh, can I squeeze another house in here? Probably not. So let's go ahead and build another house down there. We do need stone. We are completely out of stone. Which sucks. And I definitely do not have the population to support a quarry at this point. So there's a little valley up here. There's some resources there. Yeah. That really sucks that we're out of stone. Um, okay, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to build this road up this direction. Like 
Ascensão. Oh, somebody came of age. Awesome. Okay, so we've got that road queued up. And we're going to make a bridge. If I can find the end of that road. Wooden bridge. Except the amount of stone. That sucks. But wooden bridge. And that's going to go right there. Do I not have any stone anywhere on the map? Because that's going to really suck if that's the case. Stone on the other side of the river. We'll see. We'll see how much stone that stone gets us. Probably not very much though. Does this need six stone? Which that might be a problem to get. I might have to dismantle something to get the stone, to build the bridge, to get the stone. Which is pretty awesome. Um, but I don't think I have anything else that's using stone. So whenever they get around to mining that out, it should be fine. Because I know the black to blacksmith is using log and iron, and that's fine. Got enough iron sent around. <clears throat> Still zero of six. Okay, I've got three laborers. I should, uh, Beef that up a little bit. So let's beef up builder. How are we doing on uh, food? Food's fine. Could use some more hide though, so I'm gonna make another hunter. And actually, well, no, I don't want to unpause that yet because I need the stone. Come on, stone. I don't suppose that's shallow enough that they can just walk through it? Probably not. Man, that's really annoying. I guess I can dismantle that well. That might be my best bet to get some stone. So I guess I'll I guess I'll have to do that. I think that's how it works. I think I get material back from it. Okay, so that stone. Oh, that's why. And another damn house fell down. Anyway, that stone should be going, yeah, to that bridge. So that's just waiting to get built right now. And then I'll go ahead and put this well right back down. And that'll be fine. That should work splendidly. So we've got this being built. Awesome. So now we can mine out all this stone. Um, let's go ahead and put... 
know what? I'm going to take one of the builders back, and I'm going to make one more forester. Since we seem to always run out of logs. Oops. All right, and we're back. I had a little bit of uh, operator error there <laughs> with the program. I accidentally closed out. So this is one of the auto saves. Uh, not quite back where I wanted to be, but we should be able to get there fairly quickly. Um, but I do have to reclaim this well. Get the stone. Build the bridge to get the stone. Alright, we have our laborers, and so I'm going to bump one up to a forester, bump one up to a hunter. And this bridge should be getting built any moment now. All right, we're at about 50% children to adults, so we're we are building up our population, which is definitely a good thing. And pretty much as soon as this bridge gets built, I think I'm going to end the episode. Uh, we had a pretty good episode, uh, a lot better than last time. Um, nobody died. Well, we did have a building accident, which, you know, I guess you could call, claim that that's my fault for not having education, but it really doesn't make sense to have education with 10 people. Um, we are kind of struggling on our stockpile stuff, but that's to be expected in an early game right now. But the important thing is I'm making enough tools, I'm making enough firewood, I'm making enough food, I'm making enough coats. Everybody's warm, their health is going back up, and yeah, we're I think I think we're golden. I think we should be able to start expanding uh, fairly rapidly here. So Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Give me a like if you did. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. And as always, take care of yourself, and thanks for watching.